started having very bad headaches and serious bouts of forgetfulness. He went and was diagnosed with uh, brain cancer. He had a very, very uh, aggressive form of brain cancer. The diagnosis uh, was guarded at best. It was considered to be very much an uphill climb. He continued to fight, as Jay told you. Uh, if you saw the pictures of him recently when he visited his team, he, he was bloated uh, dramatically from the uh, amount of uh, you know drugs he was taking to battle the disease. He tried to battle the disease and then obviously uh, succumbed this afternoon at 4.10. You heard from his daughter, um, 57 years of age, and Gary, when I think of Gary, you think of Gary Carter, always clutch, always big home runs, always the smile, always the very aggressive, energetic play. I think of him obviously as an expo, but I think of him coming to the Mets and really along with Keith Hernandez transforming, and their, their leadership butted heads at times, we all know that. But those two, very different in their approach, but very much the leaders of that very talented team. Keith Hernandez and a Gary Carter. In different ways, maybe, yes, but the kid was an enormous leader on that team and a very, very big factor on that team. And clearly, when he came to that team, remember the opening day, he was with the Mets and hit the big home run. And, uh, you know, uh, and again, the two home runs and the nine RBIs in the World Series. We played for you some of his uh, thoughts when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, you know, highlights and moments that you think about with Gary Carter. There are some that uh, clearly come to mind, you know, and you'll hear many of them throughout the evening and throughout the day uh, as obviously the baseball world and especially the Met family grieves over the passing of the kid at uh, 57 years of age. So uh, I can't say that this is unexpected. You know, we knew he was very sick. We knew since the prognosis that it was going to be a very, very tough uphill fight. So, but still, whenever the news hits, it hits very hard. And obviously, uh, the entire baseball world and the sporting world, and here, you know, in our city, where he uh, had his greatest moments, uh, everyone grieves for the passing of uh, Gary Carter, way too young, at the age of uh, 57. And as I said, I think you try to remember the Hall of Famer and remember the guy who uh, was a great leader and was a, you know, a tremendous player and a clutch hitter, a lot of big home runs. I can think of many of them going back to his days in Montreal. But, uh, you know, later years, he had been a little outspoken. He, had, you know, he made no secret about the fact that he really wanted to be considered for the Met job. He thought that he should be considered for the Met job, which, you know, maybe stepped on a few people's toes and stuff. But, you know, he had a confidence. He wanted to manage. He really wanted to get back into the major leagues and do something there. He never got the opportunity to do that. Obviously, his health got in the way. But uh, he did have a great Hall of Fame career as a catcher. You know, when a catcher, you know, a guy wears the equipment and, you know, guides a pitching staff and leads the way he does and hits – you know, 324 home runs, that's saying something. I mean, that is that is special. And obviously he had an enormous, enormously successful uh, career behind the plate and culminating in what he brought to the Mets in 86 uh, as they, you know, went on to win a championship in that amazing, you know, come from behind victory against the Red Sox. So uh, Gary Carter passes at the age of 57. We've already heard from Jay Horowitz. We're obviously looking to get a couple of the Mets up there in demand right now. They're making a lot of uh, the ones that know and the ones who have been reached are, you know, obviously doing interviews as we speak. So uh, we will touch on with a couple of them, get with a couple of them as soon as we can connect. We will do that in the uh, minutes to come. But we do send our, our prayers and our thoughts to the Carter family.